I've just fried these amazing chebroki, which are a meat field uh, pastry turnover dish. And if you want to learn how to make them, then stick around and watch the rest of this video. Welcome back friends, welcome back here to the homestead and in the kitchen. As I've just said, um, we're making chebroki uh, today. And um, in a moment I'll go through the ingredients, but uh, many, it's not, a, it's not a particularly, um, you know, Latvian food of generations. Many people think it came from Russia, but actually if you delve into the history, it originated probably in Turkey, maybe Crimea and um and then moved about and you know it was maybe russia that brought it here but to be honest if you look you know you'll find it in across the baltics across the balkans in romania you'll find it um in turkey as i just said and um and it, actually across asia as well so and in fact many cultures have their own kind of um meat filled pastry large dumpling snack um, in the UK, we have the pasty, which is not fried, but it's baked, but it's very similar. And pork pie is not that much different either. So, um, what have we got um, to be able to make these uh, chebruk? Um, we have got some obviously flour to make the pastry, which will add some salt, a bit of oil, and water. Um, for the filling, we've got um, minced meat and Traditionally, probably made with lamb or beef. I've got wild boar, as you know from a previous video. Um, we've got a load of wild boar. And in terms of spices, very, very simple. Um, salt, paprika, and pepper. And I will bring in as well some um, parsley, which I've got in the freezer, so I'll get that out when I need it. And also an onion. And some people add onion, some people don't. We like onion. Um, and we do like a lot of onions, so we'll add a nice big onion and we'll chop that very finely. And we'll add some water and bring all those things together for the filling. And then we'll fry those. Um, they are often deep fried, um, but they can be shallow fried in a pan as well, which is what I'll be doing today. So um, let's get straight on and make our pastry and then I'll get on and um, make the filling and I'll talk you through um, the method and the precise ingredients as we do that. Okay, so in goes our 500 grams of flour into the mixer and about a teaspoon of salt and then we're going to add some water I've added about 350 milliliters here um, it will vary depending on the type of flour you're using and then a couple of tablespoons of oil and then we'll get the mixer going now you don't need to use a mixer for this you can mix it by hand it's just a bit easier um, for me to use the mixer and a bit quicker You'll notice that I added a little bit more water because my mixture is a little bit dry. Um, and like I say, depending on the type of flour, I mean, this is all purpose flour, but depending on where you are and what you're using, it will vary. And then leave it mixing until it's stretchy, but not too sticky. And then what I'm going to do is stick it in a bag and put it in the fridge um, just to stiffen up a little bit. And while I'm doing that, I can then make um, the filling. So take our big onion and chop it as finely as you can. And here I've got 400 grams of mince, which is about right to make these eight chebureki. And then we're going to add in our onion and our spices. And about 80 millilitres of water just to... Um, Make sure the mixture is a little bit moist. It's easier to spread in then. And some parsley, which I've just taken out of the freezer. But fresh parsley is great, um, or dried parsley is fine as well. And then just mince it up, uh, mix it all up and mince it up with your hand um, until it's all thoroughly mixed in. So take our dough back out of the fridge. I'm going to put it into a ball, bring it all together, and then using a knife, uh, in this, uh, a bread knife, um, dough knife in this case, but I'm going to divide it into eight. And you'll see, um, this is why I put it in a ball, because it's easier to just divide it into the eight. And then just roll those out into little balls, and and, um, and then we can start making a chabraleki. And uh, so just flour the board, and then we want to roll out the pastry and uh, make it nice and thin 
much like a pancake really um, or tortilla something like that get it as, as round as you can but it doesn't have to be perfect and then take some of the mixture a good heaps tablespoon and spread it out just like I'm doing and try not to try and keep it away from the edge um, because we need the edge to seal if you've got too much you can always take a bit off and then fold it over make sure the edges are touching and then take a fork and just to crimp the edges they don't need to be perfect because I'm going to trim this edge straight after this you don't have to but if you want it to look slightly nicer then um, one of these little trimming tools is perfect and that's a uh, chebrolic made like I say this mixture will make about eight and here's an overhead shot of the complete process from start to finish Okay, so now we've made our chebrolecki and the next step is to fry them so just put a pan on the heat and pour in some oil um, about a centimeter deep once it's come up to temperature then pop in two chebrolecki at a time and fry them on each side until they're a nice golden brown not too brown uh, more on the golden side than the brown side once they're done on one side just flip them over they might puff up a bit, but don't worry about that. And then once they're um, finished on both sides, we can then take them out. It'll take a couple of minutes on each side and just put them on some paper towel just to um, collect up any excess oil. And then continue frying the rest. Just be careful when you pop them in so that the oil doesn't um, spit too much. And I just piled them up like that. And then um, essentially we're all done. So um, here's one that's just come out and I'll just cut it in half. You can see the steam will come out of it and you can see the filling, how it's nicely cooked inside, all ready to eat. And you can cook these and then put them in the fridge and eat them the next day as a snack too. And then we are all done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it of some interest. Um, do check out some other videos, lots of recipes on our YouTube channel. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on another video very soon. Bye for now.